So when it comes to eye floaters treatment, there are a couple different options available. One of the newest is a laser surgery called YAG laser vitriolysis. And in this video, we're gonna break down how the procedure works, what kind of results you can expect from it, and what makes somebody a good candidate. Let's take a look. Hello and welcome, this is Dr. Allen here from the Dr. Eye Health Show, helping you learn all about the eyes and vision. And if you like learning about eye health as well as new procedures and vision products, then consider subscribing to the channel and turning on notifications so that you don't miss any of my future videos. So the vitreal lysis procedure works by using a laser to zap away the collagen fibers inside the vitreous gel inside of the eye. And this is a procedure that's done in the office behind a specialized type of microscope similar to the one I have here and usually does not require to go into any operating room. Now, if you go in for an examination with your local eye doctor for having this procedure done, expect that your eyes are going to be dilated with dilation eye drops. Then multiple photographs and scans of the eye will be acquired. Then your doctor will compare the scans and photographs of the eye floaters that you have and compare them to the symptoms of your eye floaters that you have so that your doctor can be more sure that they're treating the right thing. Then during the procedure, you may hear several clicks and kind of zapping noises as the floaters will then be vaporized, breaking the chemical bonds of the eye floaters and removing them from your field of view. The larger floaters are usually treated most easily on the first visit, but don't be surprised if it takes multiple visits to complete the procedure. Usually the visits are scheduled out about a month or so apart. So the type of results you can expect from this procedure are in general about 85% of the eye floaters will be removed. That means that some floaters will still remain and if you really try to find the floaters, you probably still can by shifting your eyes around. But again, the goal of the procedure is to remove or diminish the larger floaters in the central part of your vision that are affecting your normal daily activities. And although different studies will report varying success rates, the doctors who are performing this procedure most often are reporting success rates upwards of 90% or so. Now this laser surgery is not the only eye floaters treatment out there and is certainly not the best treatment for everyone. The candidacy for having this procedure does depend on several factors, one of which is what type of eye floaters somebody has because there are multiple different types, the location of those floaters, and other eye health related issues such as the age of the patient, if they have cataracts, or if they have other retinal diseases going on. Now there's a few different types of eye floaters out there. The most notable are large floaters that we call a posterior vitreous detachment or a PVD. That's where the gel completely separates from the back of the eye, leaving almost a ring-like structure because it was firmly attached to the optic nerve, which is round. We call that a Weiss ring. And these floaters, being that they're large and very obvious to see, are usually the best type of floaters that are treated with this laser procedure. Otherwise, some people do often see these almost cloud wisp-like spots in their vision. Those are more diffuse type of floaters that usually younger individuals who haven't developed the full PVD yet or people who are more nearsighted may experience. And the people who experience more diffuse like floater symptoms or expect that after a procedure that they won't have any floaters at all, they wanna remove 100% of all of their floaters, then this laser procedure may not be the best for that individual. Instead, another procedure called a vitrectomy might be a little bit better. However, that procedure does require to go into the operating room and does carry its own risks and complications. Your doctor will also consider the position of the floaters inside of the eye. If the floaters are too far backward, closer to the retina, then the laser procedure may not be the best because they could miss the eye floater and then nick the retina and that could result in vision loss. At the same time, you don't want the floaters too far forward as the laser creates a small micro pulse of energy, a little shock wave that jettisons forward. And if it's too far forward inside the gel, it could hit the crystalline lens or the implant from cataract surgery inside of the eye and damage it. And of course, your eye doctor is going to consider eye health related issues such as the presence of cataracts, any sort of implants or retinal defects that could be going on. And your doctor wants to make sure that those floaters are stable for typically at least six months before considering the laser procedure. 
So hey, if you found this video helpful, go ahead and smash that like button for me and drop a comment below of how long you've had eye floaters and what's your opinion about them. Are they really bothersome to you or is it something that you've mostly gotten used to? And hey, if you're interested in having this procedure done and would like to meet with a local eye surgeon who's performing this procedure, I have included a couple of different links in the video description below so you can find them easily. Otherwise, if you'd like to learn more about eye floaters, I have a whole video series about them and you can check those out by clicking or tapping the screen over here to the side. Or if you'd like to see another cool video from Dr. Eye Health, you can go ahead and click or tap the screen down over here. Again, this is Dr. Allen here from Dr. Eye Health, helping you learn about the eyes and vision. Keep an eye on it. We'll talk to you soon.